Hey everybody, I'm Steven from Clay Makes. If you're new here, I make new clay sculptures every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and hit that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any new videos. In this video, we're going to be making gear help from The Witcher. Let's get started. So, as usual, we start by posing the figure into how we want the sculpture to look, then drill a hole for the foot. Now we cut two lengths of 12 gauge steel wire, then measure out the proportions and glue it into the hole so we can bend it into shape. Now we will bulk out the thicker areas with aluminum foil to save on some clay and so the clay won't crack in the oven later. Then we will skin the armature so we can bake it and get a solid base to work off of. Now after the oven we start to bulk out the sculpture with all the anatomy. Now we'll take some thin sheets of clay from the pasta maker and begin to lay in all the clothing. For the texture on the legs and arms, I used a color shaper after carving in all the little grooves, pressing in all the folds to make it look like it's pulling out from those grooves. Now it took forever for all the chainmail. I tried several different things to finally get it to something I like. What worked the best was to start with a line of dots, then press in a row behind those dots, then slowly continue until you get all the chainmail you need.
For the sheets of the sword, there is a pattern running down the middle. I just pressed in some dots, then connected the back of them to get the pattern that runs down the middle. For the handles of the swords, I used the clay extruder and pressed out some long ropes and wrapped them around the handles. Now for the part that I was dreading the most about this sculpture, the head and face. This is the first time I've ever sculpted a full face like this. I don't really have any tricks here and I wasn't really trying to make it look like anyone in particular because it was my first face. I know it didn't turn out perfect, I already know several things I can change for the next face I do, so please be gentle with me. Now I wanted him to be in the mud, fighting a monster that he can't see. So now it's time to sink him in the mud. This is actually a first time for me doing a base as well. Now for the paint, I went over everything with a darker color than I wanted it to be because I had the intention of going over everything with a dry brushing style to bring up all the layers of dirt and blood. All the base colors are not mixed, they're just normal browns and blues, and then I mix lighter shades of those to dry brush on top.
Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget, if you like this video, to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you want to see more of my videos, click or tap right over here. And I did just start a new Patreon page if you want to help support the channel and you want to help me so I can make molds and sculpts of these things so I can get them out to everybody that wants them. I'll see you all next week.